Pay the buy ones. It's Latoya O'Kill. So real quick, I want to drop a message on y'all that God just put in my spirit. Literally, as I was pulling up at the grocery store, <laughs> as I was pulling up at the grocery store, the Holy Spirit spoke this to me. Now y'all got to excuse me because it's springtime. The pollen is thick down here in the south, baby. And this pollen be getting to me. So y'all gonna hear, probably hear a lot of sniffling, a lot of... <clears throat> So we're going to give y'all a disclaimer on that, okay? But real quick, I want to speak to my single people. Yes, baby. I want to speak to my single folks, single men and single women, okay? This is what God is speaking to us. Stop waiting to live your life. Stop waiting to live your life. Stop waiting until you meet the man. Come on now. Stop waiting till you meet the woman. Stop waiting until you get the ring. <clears throat> Stop waiting until you get married, until you get a husband. Stop waiting until y'all make things official or whatever to live your life. Live your life now. Give yourself permission to do all the stuff that people told you you couldn't do. People told you you would never do. People told you it was impossible. Just like the scripture says, baby, with God, all things are possible. As long as you got God on your side, you know where your strength is coming from. You know that word. You in that word. You praying. You meditating. You staying close to God. I want you to know that God will not withhold any good thing from you. Scripture says, if we delight ourselves in the Lord, that he will give us the desires of our heart. And the Apostle Paul told us that when you single, what is you what you supposed to be doing? You supposed to be concerning yourself with the things of God. Okay, so another thing too, I want you to think about what is my focus? <clears throat> what's my focus? What am I focusing on? What am I looking to every day? What's, what's my focus? And, and what should be my focus? My, sh my focus should be my purpose, my destiny, the calling that God has put on my life. And I want to tell y'all something. As long as you stay connected to God and you stay connected to your purpose, you will not miss out on the things that God has for you, including the man or the woman that God has for you. You can't miss out on it. As long as you stay on your path to destiny, everything you desire, the Lord is going to put it in your path. And I said just that. He going to put it in your path so you ain't got to leave the path looking for it. Men of God, you don't have to leave your path to go looking for your wife. If she is truly your wife, you're going to discover her along your path. Women of God, you ain't got to leave your path to go find a husband. You ain't got to walk away from doing what God told you to do to find your husband. Because if he is truly your husband, you're going to encounter him along your path. You're going to meet him along your journey, somewhere along the line. God's going to put the two of you in each other's path for y'all to meet. Because God always has the perfect timing, baby. He, he ain't never too early. He ain't never too late. He always got the perfect timing. What you got to do is make sure you keep your heart pure. Make sure you love God. Make sure you love people. Don't let none of the hurt and the disappointment from your past cause you to be a bitter woman. Don't let it cause you to be a bitter man. Don't let it cause you to look at all women the same. Oh, who are you? When, a, when God sent a woman into your life, you looking at this woman and all she came to do was love you and support you. And you looking at this woman like, who sent you? You know, you're going to hurt me just like the rest of the women you're gonna lie to me just like the rest of the women you're gonna leave me like all these other suckers i done made famous y'all remember i eternal from what's love got to do with it baby he told tina you're gonna leave me like all these other suckers i done made famous see you got to keep your spirit clean because the enemy would love to taint your spirit he would love for you to take all the heartbreak and the pain you done went through in these failed relationships and he would love for you to cause that to turn your heart cold he wants your heart to turn cold, baby, because he don't want you to meet the person that God truly has for you. And he don't want you to come into the things that God has for you. He don't want that for you. He want to keep you outside of your destiny and keep you away from the things of God, keep you away from the promised land. But my job is to make sure you bust off in that thing, baby. My job is to make sure you slide in that thing like Eddie Kane Jr. And you snatch your stuff back from the devil. And you're going to tell the devil, give me, give me my stuff. <laughs> You gonna tell her, let me hurry up and get it in the grocery store, baby. Cause you gonna tell the devil, give me my stuff. This snatch bite season, baby. Y'all put that in the comments and say it's snatch bite season. I'm snatching my happiness bite. Come on now. I'm snatching my, my love, my joy, my peace, my abundance. I'm snatching my stuff bite. 
and go do everything they told you you couldn't do. Let me tell y'all something. I'm 34 years old and I'm having the time of my life. Do you understand me? I'm living my life like it's golden, baby. I'm living my life like a teenager. I'm doing all the things that I should have did then that, that I had... Uh, was messed up in my mind trying to be a fool for love trying to trying to uh, run hop tail and get married quick got married when I was 20 years old trying to do this and do that and didn't even know who I was come on now who am I talking to let's testify today let's tell the truth didn't even know who I was didn't know my purpose didn't know my calling didn't know nothing about myself how I was gonna be somebody wife and I ain't even know nothing about myself so everything that I should have been doing then God has blessed me to be able to do it now. Glory be to God. And that's what I want to speak to all my single people. Whatever, however old you are, whatever age uh, you at right now, give yourself permission to live. Give yourself, let me tell y'all something. This past weekend, I got on an airplane for the first time. <laughs> I got on an airplane for the first time in my life, baby. And I had the time of my life. Do y'all understand me? God is restoring our youth. He's bringing our youth back. And not only spiritually, emotionally, but also physically. If you get on board with what I'm telling you, baby, God will turn back the clock. God will make you look better than you looked when you was a teenager. Do you understand me? You thought you were doing something when you was a teenager. You thought you were breaking hearts, baby. God said you show nothing to be, you show nothing to be looking good. Now, nah, that's what God will do for you. The Bible says that he will restore the years back to you that the enemy has stolen from you. Years that you spent in no good good relationships come on now years that you spent in no good marriages and stuff god is restoring that stuff back to his children in this season glory be to god god say learn the lessons he said savor and cherish the lessons that these people taught you he said each one of them that came into your life men of god each one of them women that came into your life no matter how bad she may have hurt you she taught you something uh-huh she taught you something get your journal and get your blue ink pen what did that woman teach you what did she teach you? And ask yourself empowering questions. Ask yourself, what did this experience teach me? What did I learn from this? Uh-huh. And then thank that person. This is how you're going to learn to forgive. Thank this person for showing you what you didn't want. Thank this man for showing you how you don't want to be treated. Thank this man for showing you uh, what love doesn't look like. Because now when somebody come in my life and love me, I know what it's supposed to look like because I know what the other side feels like. Come on now. They say you can't appreciate the sunshine until you done had some rainy days, baby. God said y'all done had some rainy days, but he said that's all right because the sun getting ready to shine on you. All my single folks in this season, baby, let me tell y'all something. Walk your season and hold your head high because everything that God got for you, baby, it getting ready to run you down. As long as you stay on track with your purpose and you do what the Lord has called you to do, this stuff finna start running you down. You ain't gotta go looking for it. Glory be to God. Everything that I have attracted in my season, everything that I have attracted in my life, I didn't have to leave the path to go get it. It found me. It came to me. Glory be to God. And I speak that to each and every one of you that's going to come across this video. You don't have to leave your path. Anything that requires you having to leave God, you got to move. You got to leave God's presence to go get it. It ain't for you. It ain't for you. Come on now. If it can't be in the presence of God with you, if it can't walk along your journey with you, if it can't be in your purpose with you, it ain't for you. That's why you better know your purpose first. If you're in a relationship and you don't know the, uh, you don't know your purpose, you better put that thing on pause right now because you finna get ready to mess up your life and mess up them folks' lives that you went to. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. And if you married, you better hurry up and find it. <laughs> you better hurry up and find your purpose, baby, because that's how we that's how we break hearts and we end up getting our heart broken because we don't even know who we is. How we gonna love somebody? How we gonna be in a relationship? How we gonna marry somebody? How you gonna be somebody husband? How you gonna be somebody wife? And you don't even know your work of life. You don't even know what God has called you to do. So you gotta first know your purpose and you gotta walk in that. And stop waiting until you get in a relationship with a woman or you get a relationship with a man to live your life. Live your life now. If you want that car, go and buy that car right now. If you wanna be a homeowner, go and buy that house right now. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. I gave myself permission to do I gave myself permission to do everything I want to do now. I gave myself permission to live my life the way I should have been living my life all these years. I gave myself permission to do that. 
Glory be to God. And for any of them folks that come talking about some, oh, why you weren't doing that before? Y'all know how the devil do. Why you weren't doing that before? Why it takes somebody leaving y'all for y'all to get y'all set together? And why y'all weren't doing that before? By devil with your ugly self. Because God know the way that he taking me and he know the way he taking you. What worked for you ain't going to work for me. And what working for me ain't going to work for you. That's what y'all tell them folks. Forget them folks. Because you on your own path. You on your own journey. You got to go the way God take you. And he know the way he taking you, baby. And when you come out, you're going to be as pure gold. Stop waiting to live your life. Go on that trip. Go on that trip. Go get your passport. Go travel out the country. You ain't got to have no man with you to travel out the country. You ain't got to have no woman with you to travel out the country. You can live your life now. Don't y'all know some of the happiest people in the world is the people that can go sit down by themselves and be in peace? When I go in restaurants and stuff, because I take myself out on dates. When I go in restaurants and stuff and I sit down at the bar or I sit down at the table, people be looking at me like I'm crazy. People be looking at me like I'm crazy. When I go out somewhere and it's a bunch of groups of people all around and ain't nobody in that thing but me and I'm just a happy-go-lucky, people be looking at me like I'm crazy. And that let me know that this world has not been conditioned to be at peace with themselves. We've been conditioned to think that we need somebody else, that we got to have somebody else. And it's nothing wrong with being with somebody. But you shouldn't you shouldn't disrupt your season of singleness just because you need to be with somebody. You allow God the space and the time to bring these people into your life. And while God is working, you just be content with being by yourself. I'm not promoting uh, solitude. I am, I'm not promoting that. I believe in cultivating healthy relationships. I believe in getting with people, like-minded people. I believe in love. I believe I love love. <laughs> I believe in marriages. I believe in union. I believe in all of that. But I don't believe that you should disrupt the single season that God has you in because you're looking at everybody else got somebody or everybody else taking vacations and everybody else going on trips with a man and going on trips with a woman. These men got somebody to cook dinner for them. They got somebody to do this and do that. I ain't got no wife. See, you got to be content with the season that you in. And when God sends somebody, when God sends a person, it's going it's to feel right. It's just going to feel right. It's going to feel like this person was supposed to be in your life the whole time. And I'm going to tell y'all this. When he send the person, don't you play crazy and miss out on what God done sent you. Do you understand me? That's why the time for you to get yourself together is now. Because you don't want to mess up the opportunity that God sends you. But in the meantime, enjoy your single season. Enjoy this season. Stop waiting. Stop waiting for permission from somebody. I gave myself permission to, to go ahead and buy my house now. I gave myself permission to get on a plane and fly out of the country. God told me, he said, you don't, he said, yes, I'm not going to say you don't need a man to protect you. But God told me, he said, in this season, he says, I am your protector. Glory be to God. The Lord says, and this is what he told me. And this is what I'm saying to my other single women. God says in this season, because y'all know as a woman, a lot of times we look to a man, we look to a, a man for safety to protect us, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally, spiritually, uh, financially. We look to men to protect us and put that covering over us. But we got to first depend on God to do that for us first. So God told me, he said, go get on that plane. He said, I got you. He said, I am your protector. I wrap my arms. He said, I wrap my divine arms around you. He said, I'm God in the air, just like I'm God on the ground. He said, I got you. So that's what I say to y'all. Go do what scares you, baby. Go do what frightens you and know that your God, now don't go do nothing crazy now. Disclaimer. <laughs> don't say toy you told you, uh -uh. don't go do nothing crazy. Okay. Use your uh, common sense and use, use wisdom and knowledge and discernment. Okay. But understand that God is with you, that you don't have to wait to get confirmation from somebody else. You don't have to wait to get validation. You don't have to wait to get the stamp of approval from a man or from a woman. Go ahead and do everything that you thought you couldn't do. Do it now. You done put your life on hold long enough. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? And then when the person come, you don't never know what the dynamic of y'all's relationship or marriage would be. They might be disabled. 
they might have something going on. It might be something that happened after the marriage to, well, oh, oh now you can't travel. You got to stay home and take care of your spouse. And you're going to be thinking about all the stuff. I wish I would have went on and took that trip to Cancun. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have went on and took that trip to the Maldives, baby. I sure wish I would have. So go ahead and do it now. <laughs> do it now, baby. Live your life now. Go ahead and buy that house now. And that's a big thing for us as women. We, we a lot of times, as single women, we want to wait until we get married before we buy go ahead and buy your house baby if your credit ain't right get your credit together get your credit together go see my divine one terry Kaiser, the credit expert she gonna help you build your personal and business credit baby go get your credit together and go on and buy your house and stuff you ain't gotta wait and then you and your you get married later you and your husband can decide what y'all want to do with y'all properties and stuff but don't wait to try to live your life. Go on and get your stuff now. You want that piece of jewelry? Go on and get it. You want that bag? Go on. If you can afford it, go on and get it. Go on and get it, baby. Men of God, if you want that watch, go on and get it. Go on and get it. Do nice things for yourself. Get that $500 cologne. Go on and get it. <laughs> go on. You don't need a woman around you to smell good. Come on now. Yeah, we love men that smell good now. <laughs> but you ain't got to have a woman around you. The smell good. Like you do that for yourself. You put on your cologne because you like you like smelling good. You like to look nice for yourself. And see, when you carry that type of energy, you you're gonna attract the people that's for you. You're gonna attract the woman that's for you. You're gonna be walking somewhere and she's gonna smell that cologne. <laughs> now, if you were saying, I ain't got no woman, I ain't got nobody over here, I ain't finna put on no cologne. Then you walk past us, baby, and we don't even smell you. We we you we 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 gonna treat you just like any other man. But if you walk by and you smelling nice. That's some nice cologne. <laughs> and boom, just like that, you done attracted your wife, baby. Y'all done sparked up a whole conversation in the grocery store. And now y'all talking every day. See that? So go ahead and live your life. Don't wait on nobody, okay? You don't need to wait until the person comes to, to start taking adventures and having fun. Start doing that now. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill. Let me go ahead and get in this grocery store. Uh, and I got to get rid of head and, and pick up the children But I love y'all I'm praying for each and every one of y'all If you are not in the barbecue or meal Do master class Click the link below and go ahead and sign up for the master class These are the last few days That I'm going to be offering it for $25 So go ahead and get it at the $25 price At Latoya O'Kill Academy The link is below in the description I'll check in with y'all later